Yo, 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 what up, though? It's your boy OG Low Nitty coming to you from the OG TV 313 Network. I want to give a shout out to my man Petty Tupac TV. Streets. They on deck, too. They here. Get in. Get in. We Streets got, bro. Here. We on deck. Hey, shout out to Capo 1 and 2, the whole B Street fam, my baby Keisha, my mama, Petty Tupac TV, and all subscribers and all supporters. We love y'all, man. We finna turn up this summer. Watch. Detroit I get a rush from catching bites I love when I die Pull up broad day Make his mama cry Me and Doja took his life Fuck him, he had to pay the price Still in my hood mm -mm. So you had a hit on your head Can you speak like maybe what it was behind How much and, and what, what was the situation behind that no comment, man. Them niggas just didn't like the Mac sauce. I be dripping on these motherfuckers, man. You know, when a nigga see you start rising and being somebody that they ain't, you know, or got the potential to be the, the person that they is, you know, motherfuckers want to get you, envy you, hate you, you know. And remind you, I don't know these people, but shit, things happen, you know. Shit, but... It was just like a movie. The good guy always what? <laughs> they always win. All right, then. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If I was a bad guy, guess what would have happened? You would have been out of here. I would have been dead in this movie. Right? I wouldn't be on this interview. So, God I'll let you know right there now I was the good guy in this one. So, they tried to break in your house or something? Shit, man. Them niggas thought they was MacGyver, Bruce Lee, Jet Lee, all that. And them motherfuckers, yeah. But the, you know, but the play, you know, like I said, when I woke up, you know, I'm going to give y'all a description, now, you know, and we, we're going to wrap this up, you know, because the cocksuckers that probably did it, you know, I know the fuckers mm -hmm. probably fuckers watch, watch, I know them fuckers watching me. So, let me somewhere. Me, but let me tell you, you cocksucker, when you try this time, it I'll be, fuck uh, mama yeah, uh, uh, you got a whole thing coming, Tupac waiting for you, bitch. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go back into how they try to play me out the Jack in the Box, you know. I was sleep drunk, you know what I'm saying? The whole day, you can feel death coming, you know? This, this real shit. When you, I woke up this particular day, everything mm -hmm. everything seemed just right, you know what I mean? Everything, that's how I feel, you know? Things going right, you know what I'm saying? But this day, I see three faces I've never seen in my life. And guess what the three faces have on? They got on all the same fucking outfit. That was the first red flag. I see these three niggas. Was it all black? No, nah, they had on uh, blue jeans, blue, and, and regular shit. Just regular, you know. <laughs> they had, they was dressed alike. But remind you, it's cold outside, you know. You know, yes. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to get some cigarettes. Whole time, these niggas could have blew me down right there. That let me know they wasn't gangster. So, you know, make a long story short. I tell myself, you know, when you in these streets, you gotta go, you gotta move militant. That's why I tell you, this goes for all you young niggas, man. Keep your fucking eyes open, man, because you never know who out here watching you, man. These streets is cold-blooded, man. And especially when it gets greasy, man. Your bitches set you up, anybody. Because the niggas who I hung around, they, they knew the shit was going on, too. That's why you used to see me in this interview by myself with one or two niggas. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, free still, free guys, though. But make a long story short. You know, we go fast forward. I was asleep, I'm drinking, I go to sleep, boom. Niggas knock on the window with the stick. I wake up out my sleep, y'all. God, mm -hmm. God, a bad motherfucker, I lie. You know, I love him to death, let's. And I was gonna put my head out the blinds. And guess what God said, don't do it. I heard it to tap again, like a fight. You can tell, if you a street nigga, you can tell that cold metal. Feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know so what cold you, you know what cold metal sound like on the window. Mm -hmm. So boom, I hear it, boom, boom, I hear it tap. You know, I ain't say shit. Then I hear it on the window and the front door. Then I hear it on the side door. This was all in three seconds. So I'm like, I'm an evil villain. Remind you, I'm an evil villain. So once all this happened, my jack, my my demon time cut on. A, it's the police. B it's the demons like you. <laughs> so, 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 so for real. This shit real, y'all. You want to get one life to live, man. This, let me tell y'all something, man. This interview probably gonna go viral, man. But listen, man, I survived this shit, man. But let me tell you, man. So, from the dick suckers, they do it on the back. My people's ass at the door. You know, 
God tell me, take off all your clothes. I don't know why he say take off all your clothes. <laughs> you know, this 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 is a true story. He say take off all your clothes. I had on I had on sky I had on sky blue this day. Remind you, I don't wear blue like that. I don't even wear blue. But this day, this what I tell y'all, it feels so good that it made me wear blue. <laughs> The day felt so good, y'all, I wore blue. I don't even wear blue. So, boom, this one, you know, so boom. So, I fold my clothes up before I, the, my uncle can open the side door. When I fold my clothes up, I reach underneath this thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully my stick there, you know what I'm saying? The bitch ain't there. Mm. My pops done took it from me. He like, nigga, you wild as hell, nigga. You, you know, no, this after, okay, boom. I find out it ain't there, I'm like, oh shit. So I go in the kitchen, try to look out the window. My uncle opened the door. While he opening the door, nigga, the goon is coming in. Uh, I'm instantly turning to a ninja. Come on, nigga. And I hide shit when I hear, nigga. Shit, luckily the niggas ain't killed nobody. They just left out the house. They was like, where he at? Ooh, ooh, and left, you know what I'm saying? And did the same thing to my grandma's house. But that let me know, though, that niggas that I was around talk. So when I'm telling you young niggas is this, y'all got to take this free game. Mm -hmm. A nigga tell you he love you, but when that pape get involved, ain't no motherfucking love, my nigga. Duh. That, that shit gone. Once a nigga start thinking about the mans, you know, so what I tell y'all, listen, man, I'm blessed to see another day. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm still here to tell this story. You know, the niggas who that, you know, tried to accomplish their mission never accomplished their mission. You know, who God knows where they at right now. We don't know. No comment to that. But... You know, when I'm trying to tell y'all, it gets deep, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas try to set me up, man. You know what I'm saying? I survived, man. Yeah.